So here at Hunter Business School, we provide two rooms. The first one being the live energized room. So this room here distributes live radiation to the patient, or in our regard, to the mannequins here. We have two mannequins, one for positioning as well, and then one for x-ray. It's very important that before you go out to your clinical setting, you know what you're doing and how to do it. That is by practice. Practice, practice, practice. And here we have a lot of artifacts to help you practice. By being able to position the anatomy in this room as well as the other room, you're going to understand that in an x-ray world, you're taking a 3D object, which is your hand, and placing it on a 2D apparatus. So in order to get that image, positioning is absolutely crucial in our field because we want to make sure that between you, the patient, and the doctor, that you're able to understand this is what the doctor needs to see in regards to patient pathology or patient diagnosis. The machine here, again, is state-of-the-art. You can find this machine pretty much at any high facility such as outpatient centers or even hospitals. They also have portable machines. These are usually found in hospitals as well. And as well as this pixie mannequin, which inside has complete full skeletal artificial bone inside. Okay, so not only are you x-raying a mannequin that you feel like you may wonder what is it I'm looking at, you will be able to see what you're looking at when you x-ray the mannequin because again, positioning and practice is huge in this program. So this is the PAX room. So in order to take your x-ray, you have to go to a control console. This is your control console here. From the control console, not only are we pushing buttons here, we also need to understand what is it that we're looking for. As technologists, you are exposed to different types of pathologies, different types of anatomies. Once you're able to retrieve those images, you send them over here to your PAC system. Every facility that has an x-ray machine has a PAC system. The PAC system is an archive picture communication system that basically takes all the images that we have and puts them in a center point for us to go and gather those images to send to the doctor. Here in this room, before we can graduate to the live energized room, we have to practice positioning of the tube. And in order to do that, this is what I like to call the bumper room, because you're able to bump around this machine and kick it any way you want, because you need to get familiar with the machine and the equipment you're working with. Okay. This is a non-energized room. It's strictly for positioning of the tube and the wall bucky, which is another form of taking an x-ray. So there's two ways to take an x-ray. You can do it standing up or you could do it lying down. Both ways here you are taught on how to do so because it is up to the patient whether or not they can stand or lie down. Most importantly, safety and patient handling is what we strive here at Hunter. Here we have the fluoroscopy machine. This machine is mainly used in pain management and outpatient surgery centers. Uh, this machine is a very unique machine because not only does it take x-rays, but it takes x-rays in real time. What that means is if I was to put my hand here and shoot an x-ray, you would see it in real time as I move it back and forth. And this is primarily used for the x-ray tech to help surgeons guide. This is the surgeon's eyes, as I like to call it. So with the surgeon's eyes being on you, you're responsible to make sure and understand what is it that they're looking for in a case with the patient. So for example, if a patient is coming in for a hip fracture and they need to get a hip replacement, you would move this apparatus back and forth for the doctor to understand how to move it. Now what's beneficial about this is no other programs have these machines usually in their programs to practice. Usually you learn how to use this in a clinical site. However, I found it's very important to learn a machine like this because of its complexity early in the program so you have more of a comfortable vibe and feel confident when you do go to clinic. 